Thank you. Changing the face of STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. I'm a research nerd. A couple of years ago, I wanted to know what makes college students pursue STEM majors such as biochemistry, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, physics. But I didn't want to know just about any college student. I wanted to know about African-American students. There were two reasons why I wanted to know this. The first reason was that I kept hearing news reports and reading research articles and reading magazine articles that talked about the lack of black STEM professionals. The second thing is that I always kept hearing about what's going on in STEM as it relates to black people. And you know, we just don't do math and science. So to kind of break these myths and to kind of figure out what's going on here, I said as a researcher, it's important that I actually hear the voices of African-American students that are pursuing STEM degrees at colleges and universities. So I put the national call out to talk to brothers who were, who were majoring in physics and biochemistry and electrical engineering, and they answered the call. They talked to me about what their experiences were in elementary school and middle school and high school and college. Here are some of the things that they told me. The first thing they told me is that they, at an early age, they had a love for math and science. They could just remember doing math calculations in their head or being the first in their class to solve math facts or being the first person in their class to raise their hand when it came to science experiments. But then I began to question, what about those African-American students that don't come into the classroom with the math and science talent? Are school communities and teachers reaching out to them? The second thing they told me is that, oh, they had some supportive parents. You know, this was refreshing to me because oftentimes the African-American parents are vilified in mainstream media from single-parent homes and, you know, you need to come from a two-parent home. And they all told me that in both scenarios, single-parent or two-parent home, they had supportive parents. Supportive parents that one of the students talked about how his parents pulled him out of his local elementary school because it wasn't rigorous enough in math. And another student told me how his parents said, we're going to send you to a school outside of your community to learn math and science. So now my question becomes, why isn't quality math and science learning going on in African-American communities? The next thing they told me is that teachers looked at them and said, oh, you're smart, you'll do well in math. Oh, you're smart, you'll do well in science, but never giving them support, never pushing their learning boundaries, just identifying them as being smart. And let's face it, the collective narrative is that, hey, black folks don't do math and science, so if you're good in math and you're good in science, you'll do fine. Another thing they told me is that in their current university environments, it's very hostile. Faculty don't want to work with them. Other students don't want to work with them. One student told me about an incident. He's an electrical engineering major, and when it came time for people to partner up to do group assignments or group projects, everyone moved away from him. They looked at him and said, oh, you're not that smart. Or, you only got into this program, you know, through some special program, maybe like affirmative action. They refer to him as the black kid in the back with the basketball shorts on. And by the way, he also had flip-flops on. They wanted to make sure they point that out too. What he did, which was surprising to me, that fueled his energy. He said, you know what, I'm going to prove them wrong. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to work in isolation, which he shouldn't have to do. But again, the collective narrative in society is that black folks don't do math and science, so he's working alone. 
Then he starts to partner with other black STEM students. And before you know it, he was inducted into an electrical engineering honor society. He recalled when he walked into the room, proud, happy at his accomplishment, his fellow classmates stopped him and looked at him and said, you're in the wrong room. You know, this room is for people that got accepted into the Electrical Engineering Honor Society, and you're not that guy. He looked and he smiled and he said, I was accepted. And he said the looks on their faces were priceless. This guy now is going on to get his PhD in electrical engineering. Parents, African-American parents, becomes very critical that you advocate for your child to get a quality math and science education. You shouldn't have to take your child out of their local elementary, middle, high school. You have a voice empower not only your child, but empower the community that you live in to say we demand, we want quality science and math teaching for our students. Teachers, teach science and math to all students. Don't just single students out because you think they hold a certain intelligence in math or hold a certain intelligence in science. Teach them, because guess what? I wasn't that kid that walked into the classroom loving math or loving science but bring it out of me. Help me learn. Help me get there. And maybe I'll develop an interest in it. And maybe I'll go on to be a STEM major. You know, all of us sitting in this room, we need to change the collective narrative that black folks don't do math and science. Yes, we do. You know why we do? Because when I was a kid growing up, playing dominoes with my grandfather, that was math. When I was in the backyard with my great-grandmother, and she loved to plant flowers, and we were measuring soil and measuring, I was doing science. Because you know what I was doing? I was making observations, and then I was estimating. I was doing calculations. When I sat down with my mother, when I saw her filling out her checkbook, me being the inquisitive kid that I am, Mom, what are you doing? Kimai, I'm balancing my checkbook. Cool, can I help? I'm helping her do calculations. That's math. Value the mathematical and science contributions that African Americans bring into the classroom. We come to the classroom with a wealth of knowledge. Tap into it. Use it. As a researcher, I'm going to continue to bust down the inequities of STEM one person at a time. Help me do the work. You know how you can help me do the work? Provide images of black people that do physics. If you need some, holla at the National Society of Black Physics. Provide images of black engineers. If you need some, holla at the National Society of Black Engineers. Show black images of black chemists. If you need some, holla at the National Organization of Black Chemists and Chemical Engineers. <laughs> They're there. We're here. Help me do the work. Changing the face of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The time is now. Thank you.